Good evening. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Maximus. I am very happy that there's a ding dong right there in my chat. Right there on my screen. We started off with a ding dong. That means it's a good Tuesday, right? I am tired. I had a long day, but you know what a cure for a long day is? How about just some casual commander? Some casual commander. We have got a cool one for you this evening. If you're unaware of what's happening, this is part of our Jake and Joel, our magic commander league prize support sponsored by dragon shield proxy friendly new format every month. If you want to join, go check it out. Jump into our discord. Talk to some people about it. Joining our Patreon at any level makes you eligible for the commander league. Tonight we are playing the first week of the February, February league. The format for this league, Josh, you're not muted on spell table. The format for this league this month is a randomly chosen wheel. The wheel randomly spun and assigned us commanders from commander legends. So we have got commander legends commanders popping. And that's what we're going to play tonight. We have got Tevish Zat and Akroma. That's what I'm playing. Those are my partners. You see him very small right there. We will flip over very soon when everybody's ready. We got Thalese, Reverend Medium, gonna be some black white tokens. We got Elegeth, Crossroads, Augur, and Slurk all ingesting there in the bottom left, Josh P. And then Brody in the bottom right is repping Itch Techic and Radiant Sarah Archangel. All of this culminates in prizes at the end of February. We don't even know who's good and who's not this month because we haven't played a game yet. That's what we're going to be doing. We got a new theme every month for the Commander League. Make sure you go and check it out. Real quick about our sponsor. Super thanks to Dragon Shield for sponsoring our Commander League. Tonight, I am repping. Check these out. The brushed art sleeves. These are the Valentine's Day brushed art sleeves. These are what I am repping tonight. They've got these two dragons who have definitely murdered an entire royal family written i love you in the stained glass of said royal family and now one of the dragons is giving the other dragon a crown as a nice little wedding ring obviously the crown of a noble that those that they have destroyed these are just now available here in february i'm not quite sure if they are shipping yet but these are available for pre-order if they're not these are their new February sleeves. That's what I'll be rocking. They're brushed art. And I got to tell you, these brushed art sleeves are super cool. And this is an honest review. I would tell you what I feel like. The texture of these, you can kind of see it's not completely glossy. It's just the littlest bit, the littlest bit uh, textured. But this brand new deck, you can see this. I sleeved this deck like an hour ago and it's already sitting flat. I think that's my favorite feature of them altogether is that there's no slippy slidey water park 
right after I sleeved up a brand new deck, as you know can be the case. Dragon Shield prizes are included in our in our monthly Commander League prize purse. So make sure. Yep, those are the Valentine's Day sleeves for 2022. Jake in the chat right now, everybody. Type a little wave at Jake. That's him on the official Jake and Joller Magic chat. But yeah, if you want to get involved with the league, new new season starting up every month. We got total prizes for the year as well. Lots of cool stuff. Best thing to do is to go over there and uh, join our Discord. That's the Discord right there. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs off of this whole playlist. Neurotronic. This is a Stream Beats playlist by Harris Heller. All right. Who's to say we play some Commander? Let me jump in here with the pod and see how we're doing. Homies, can y'all hear me? Excellente. Hang on, let me swap over. All right. So, let's start in the bottom right. You may notice that we've got a Moxfield square down there in the bottom right. Brody has got his deck on order and it has not arrived yet. So, Brody will be playing with Moxfield tonight. We're going to see how that goes. Brody, you were assigned Itch, Tekic, and Radiant. Do you want to talk about your deck for a second so people know who's talking when you're talking? Oh, wow. Secret surprises. Gotcha. Thank you very much. That's a good note. Let me fix that real fast. A lot of moving parts here at Jake and Joller Magic. Now you should be able to Brody. If you would, one more time, explain <laughs> Itch, Tekic, and Radiant Sarah Archangel. Yeah, no problem. This is Brody. Um, yeah, I, I got Itch, Tekic, and Radiant, and I kind of went with like a Flicker ETB theme. I have a couple key creatures that help me do that, and uh, you guys will have to see to find out the rest of what I got going on. We'll rock and roll, and and I'm glad we were able to hear you that time. <laughs> Josh, Elegeth and Slurk. Tell me about what you were thinking when you got those two. Yeah, Elegeth and Slurk. Um, Elegeth is a flyer that turns scrying into drawing. So planning to get a lot of cheap drawing when with cards uh, costed like they should be scrying. Um, hopefully drawing into, drawing into lots of flyers. And Slurk's going to help me beef them up with 1-1 one -one counters. Rock and roll. Felice, Kirk. This is a little bit more of a straightforward build, huh? Uh, yeah, you really didn't have a whole lot of options here. Um, so uh, I'm going to try to make tokens. Uh -huh. um, but, but not only on my turn, since it's supposed to trigger at the end of every turn. Right. So I'll see if I can get tricky and start making tokens on everybody's turn. And then hopefully the tokens will do something. Well, heck yeah. I got Tevish Zad, Chroma. I um going to be honest, chat, I didn't originally get assigned Tevish Zat, Doom of Fools, and a Chroma Vision of Ixidor. We'll see if it curses me for the month, but Jake was initially assigned Tevish Zat and a Chroma, and I got worse. I can't even remember their names because I was so not into them being a decent commander. Uh, when Jake dropped for the month, I said, you know what? 
I'll just take over his commanders and play something that's actually fun. So I cheated a little bit. We shall see if it works out or not. I'm slowly kind of working towards my opening hand, everybody. Just FYI. I'm drawing my first seven now. I'm going to see what I got. I'm going to keep that seven. I'm going to push this up here. Hey, real quick. I hear that we've got a very cool person watching the stream. Big shout out to Aria. Aria, I hope you're having a wonderful night. We appreciate you spending your time with us. Tavish and Akroma can go there. Keep my hand. We got a hand for Josh. Kirk, you got a hand. I'm Bro good. Brody, we know you got a hand. Yeah, I'll be keeping. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to roll a die and get us some uh, some placements here. D6 is a six. So according to Brody's rules, I mean, uh, uh, Bobby's rules. Bobby is the commissioner. I got to manage re randomized player order. That's one, two, three, four. Top left is going to go first when we're done with this. Five and six so i've got kirk omniscient fool aka josh p joel bozo and then brody ouch too much pressure i will draw a card for turn kirk uh yep i believe we're ready to go get us get us kicked off and i will play a snowfield sinkhole tapped and pass the turn Oh, I'm sorry. It's a, uh, it's the snow dual land. Snowfield uh, sinkhole. Yeah, I'm gonna play a command tower tap. Play fairy seer flyer one one. When it enters, I scry two. It's called fairy seer. Got it. Yep. ETB scry two. Gotcha. It smells like first blood to me. My turn. I'm just in the middle of scrying almost. Um, but you can go ahead and start. I'm going to put one on top and one on the bottom. Basic swamp. Pass the turn to Brody. All right, I'll draw. Um, play a forest. Tap that for one. Oh, this is weird. And play an elvish mystic and then pass the turn. All right. I wonder if... Oh, I can click on it with near perfect pickup. That's a good note. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. If you want to see any of mine and Jake's decks, if you type in exclamation point Moxfield, that's going to take you over to our deck archive. We are currently in the built in the in the process of fleshing it out. We have just recently moved to use Moxfield almost exclusively. Big fan of the setup over there. We are not sponsored by them. Moxfield, if you're watching, come on now, shoot me a text. Uh, you're muted, Kirk. <laughs> Kirk, you are muted if you're talking. I see you play a Witch's Cauldron for one black, though. My goodness. I was... extemporating... <laughs> uh, yes, it's a Witch's Cauldron. Um, black one, sack creature, tap it. I can, uh, draw a card and lose a life. If I could ever get a creature. And I pass the turn. Josh P, your uh, playmat's getting some love in the chat right now. You want to tell us where you got it? 
Um, would it be bad to say eBay? It's the Phil Folio. What is it? Goblin King from 5th edition? Is that a signature on there? Is that printed or actually yeah. signed? Yeah, he signed it. That's very cool. Uh, so dope. Yeah, I grew up, I started playing Magic. I love Goblins, so it yeah. stuck with me. When that's, this is what a Magic art used to look like. Yeah, different world now. Play an island. I've got the Dragon Shield water dragon play mat here. I like to think that this is just a, a Gyarados. A Gyarados. Two for a thought vessel. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, attack and first blood on in the air. We'll hit, we'll hit Brody since he won month one's uh, commander. He's a little bit of a threat. So. Ooh. One in the air. Ouch, Brody. ouch. How you do follows you between months, Brody. You need to remember that. <laughs> Looks like it. I'll take one. Best turn. And pass turn. My turn. We're going to play a basic planes. We're going to tap for two for a charcoal diamond that enters the battlefield tapped and we're going to pass. Alrighty. I'll untap, draw. Um, yeah, it does kind of look like shiny Gyarados, right? That's what I'm thinking. Tap for one and play a soul ring. Oy, oy, oy. Um, and then I'll just tap for one green off my Elvish Mystic and play an Llanowar Elves. And then... Uh, then I'll play a, land a Myriad Landscape tapped and pass the turn. Okay. I will unmute myself. And I'll <laughs> tap. And draw a card for turn. And let's play a swamp. And we'll tap them all for a commander sphere. That's visible. There we go. And I will pass the turn. Okay, and tap and draw. So that was turn three. Or we're in turn three now. Yeah, everybody's ramping like crazy. To a certain degree. Blue and three. I'm going to play Cryptic Analyd. He allows me to scry one, then scry two, then scry three. <laughs> We'll keep the first, wow. and then I'll scry. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I'll have I will keep the top card. Um, <laughs> scry two. Oh, this card. I used to play this card all the time. I will put one on the top, one on the bottom, and then I'll scry three. This is Jake's kind of card. Jake loves scrying. Check. Okay, let's see here. He's a visceral seer. Put this one on the bottom and I'll put these on top. And I will, um... Kirk, no, you have no creatures, right? I'll hit you in the air for one. That's one, and, uh... Nothing I can do about that. I'll pass turn. And tap. <laughs> I'm just going to play Valor and pass.
One white, three other for a two-two first striker. As long as it's in your graveyard and you control a planes, creatures you control have first strike. Oh, first strike, first strike. I'll untap. Draw. Um, I'll play Grey Pelt Refuge into my land per turn and gain a life. I do. Um, let's see. Um, I'll tap for two and sack my myriad landscape and then um, so I'll give it three and then yeah yes yeah, Sam it's the white anger basically and gives first strike instead of haste I'll pass after I sack my myriad landscape so how do you search with Moxfield uh, there's a view there's stuff I've cropped out that you can't see so you can't see my hand and stuff but on the right there's a view library option and you just search the card you're looking for oh nice good to know i think you passed to kirk right i did yes okay i will untap i draw a card just one I'll play plans. Hmm. Somebody's mic is giving me a lot of feedback right now. I'm hearing a little static too. Is it me? There we go. Whatever that was, it fixed went it. Away after, yeah, whatever it was, it went away after I muted and came back. Uh, I played my land for turn. But yeah, Moxville um, only game would be interesting, Buzz. Uh, well, let's see what everybody's got. Uh-oh. I'm going to tap out. <laughs> What's five mana? I'll play a Shadrick Silver Quill. Okay. Uh, flying double strike uh, beginning of combat on my turn I can choose I may choose to uh, each mode must tra target a different player either target player creates a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying target player draws a card and loses one life or target player puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature they control and it's a 2-3 or a 2-5 2-5 sorry Woo -wee. alrighty and mythic action i will pass the turn mythic you're not gonna activate it on your combat um oh yep you do i guess i could couldn't i you could hmm. what are you thinking what are you thinking you want to do looking, with that? I'm looking at what kind of creatures everybody's got around to see whether or hmm. not I want to make a dude. Hey, you know what? I think I'll just pass the turn and take an orbit to figure this out. Hmm. There you go. Bide your tab. time. And draw. Play an island. Green, blue, and one. I will play Voral of the Whole Claw Clade. There he is. Green, green, blue, and tap. For each counter on target artifact creature or land, put another of those counters on that permanent. He's a 1 4. And I will hit um, Joel in the air for one. I will take one. Doop. I used my keyboard. I will pass turn. 
Passing turn. What's that card? <clears throat> Excuse me, what's that card's name you just cast? Josh? Voral. V-O-R-E-L of the whole clade. A blue, a green, uh, and one other. Thank you. I'm going to pay three and cast Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Two, three. When it or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. So I'm gaining one, everybody lose one. I am also going to suspend Profane Tutor with two counters on it. Profane Tutor is a suspend spell. Here, I'll click it for you, chat. If my thing can read it. There we go. Now we're cooking. It's basically Demonic oh. Tutor, but budget, so I can run it in this league. It's also budget Demonic oh, we Tutor. <laughs> it's also it's also uh slow i'll tell you that and i will pass the turn all righty uh, untap and draw yeah chris brawn and wonder i played brawn a lot back in the day too wonder too actually that was just a huge set. That's Odyssey's when I started playing MTG, so that set is huge for me. Um, I'll play Terramorphic as my land per turn. Terramorphic Expanse. Um, hmm. Um... And then, damn, I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> Ruh -roh, need that landfall. I did need the landfall. Um, hmm. Okay, whatever. We'll just do this then. Um, we'll tap for five. Do it like that. Um, and then I'll cast Thrag Tusk. Draggy, um, baby. The, that's right. It's a 5-3. When it enters the battlefield, I gain 5 life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it, when it leaves the battlefield, I'll create a 3-3 three, three green beast. Little bit of everything. Um, so I'll gain 5. And then... I think I'll crack my Terramorphic and then pass the turn while I'm looking. Win condition against you, Brody, is like Alt F4, right? <laughs> That's right. Shuts me down instantly. <laughs> Zero mana win con. Uh, I'm up now? Yes. I don't want that. And draw for turn. I will play another plane. I'll tap two planes and a swamp. And I'll play a Tesa, Korzov Scion. She's a 2-3. I can sacrifice three white creatures to remove target creature from the game. Shoo. And whenever another black creature I control is put into a graveyard from play, I'd make a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token fly. Hmm. What's her name again? Thesa? Thesa. Thesa. T-E-Y-S-A. Yeah, there's a couple of Thesas. Yeah, this is the three mana Thesa. When she was a scion, she initially, she eventually was like head of the whole kit and caboodle, right? I think she eventually got up there. When she, when, when she got protection from creatures or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Brody has no flyers, but he's got a big dude. All right, Brody, I think I'm going to try and level set everything. Um, I'll enter combat. I don't like the um, sound of that. I will choose to. Uh, I'm going to let... What is this thing again? I'm going to let Joel put a plus one, plus one counter on all the creatures he controls. Hey, thank you, pal. And I will put an inkling into play. A foil inkling at that. That's a 2-1 flyer, right? Correct. Um, and I will swing at Brody with Shadrick's Silver Quill. Say 2-5 flying double strike. Uh, sounds like I'll be taking four. And four you shall. So if you just... Um, and I pass turn. If you're just joining us, chat, we are on turn five right now, I believe. Um, top left, we got Thalese. We got top right, Elegith Slurk. I'm in the bottom right, Teversat, Necroma, and... It's Techic and Radiant in their bottom left. We're playing a little bit of Commander Legends for our Commander League this month. Sorry, Josh. No, you're good. If you type in exclamation point league, it'll give you a little rundown of what's going on. All our deck lists are in the description. I'm actually going to bring out my one of my commanders. Uh-oh. Um, slurk. Slurp's gonna get five counters. Five plus one plus one. Whoa! Here comes Slurk. When it enters the battlefield with five plus one plus ones on it, and whenever it or another creature you control dies, if it had a plus one counter on it, put a plus one counter on each creature you control that has a plus one counter on it. All right. I imagine he makes that sound when he enters play. Yes. Slurk. <laughs> <laughs> um i will uh brody you have no flyers correct that is right i will hit you in the air just for one i'll take one i will pass turn after that okay my count on profane tutor goes down to one draw a card Play one. I'm going to pay five for Teverzat. Enters oh the battlefield. Teverzat has got a plus two to create two zero one black throw creature tokens. Tevish has a plus one. I can sacrifice another creature planeswalker, and if I do draw two, then draw another card if it's a per if it's a commander. And then I can minus 10 to gain control of all commanders. Put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. So, needless to say, we're going for that minus 10. Um, Alrighty then. Enters with four. I'm going to go ahead and tick Tavish up one to five. Sacrifice Valor. And draw two cards. I'm going to cast Kaya's Ghost Form on Tevis Zet. Any response? I do. Yes. Yes. I can see your hand just a little bit, Kurt. Couldn't quite make it out, just FYI. Uh, well, you're going to see a little bit. Uh, I'll fracture Tevis Zet. Straight up fracture. 
You're making powerful enemies early, boy. <laughs> but now he's like eight or something, right? But he made some friends in the meantime. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, will pass the turn. That was gonna get ugly quick. Yeah, geez. Tavash is brutal. All right, I'll uh, untap. Five mana yeah, draw two, me. lose draw. my Kaya's ghost form. What's up, chat? How you doing? Expert level <laughs> commander play over here. Uh, play land per turn. Actually, no, I won't. Won't do it. You got a counter though. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Actually, I will play my land for turn. It'll be a planes. I'll go ahead and tap for six. Um, yeah, we'll do it like that. And then I'll cast Woodland Bellower. <clears throat> um, six, five beast with when it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a non-legendary green creature card with converted mana cost three or less and put it into the battlefield and then shuffle my library. So I'll look for Champion of Lamholt. Is that your graveyard with the Terramorphic over there? It is, yep. Gotcha. This is my graveyard. Perfecto. Um, let's see. And then I'll tap um, for four, actually. No, that won't do anything. Um, Instead of flicking your cards on Moxville, it's making little squares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Five, three. Um, I'll go to combat and I'll attack Joel with my five, three. I take five. And then I'll pass turn. Pretty brutal last couple turns for me, not going to lie. Well, I'll leave you alone now. <laughs> don't make promises you don't intend to keep. <laughs> okay. Have a one tap. And draw for turn. Chat, what's it like watching somebody play on Moxfield on spell table? Is it weird? Does it work? It's like three of us are in the real world and one's in the Matrix. <laughs> I'll play a Swamp for turn. Ein Sumpf. And... Hmm. And yeah, why not? This is Commander, right? Let's get a little Commander action going. Here comes the lease. Uh, three, four. At the beginning of each end step, I create a one, one white spirit creature for every token I created that turn. Um, and... Hmm. We're just getting it scary, isn't it? Well, you still don't have any flowers or anybody with reach, do you, Brody? Uh, 
I don't know. Okay. I think I'm going to do a little bit of the same. I will enter combat. Um, I'll let Joel put a plus one plus one counter on his creatures. Sick! And I'll make a second inkling. IR is getting thick. Don't look now, but IR is four or five. Got him. And I'll swing at you, Brody. Uh, okay, so four again, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, flying double strike. I will take four. <clears throat> and from there, I will pass the turn and put a spirit into play for making an inkling. How many cards in your hand, Kirk? Two. Brody, how about you? Just how about everybody? I have three now. I have four. Three. Brody can just draw a card whenever he wants to. I'm going to activate Voril. I'm targeting Slurk to put five additional counters on him. Ooh. That is a... Ten, that is ten. a 10-10 ten, ten Slurk. That is a thick boy. <laughs> big, big Slurk boy. And let's see here. And he made the same sound when he grew. <laughs> I'll sit tight after that and I'll pass turn. So you still got three cards in hand? Correct. Profane Tutor goes off. I'm going to go searching for a card. That happens. Uh, it does happen at upkeep. I know what I'm looking for. Do not worry. Shuffle this library up. <laughs> we'll cut action. Draw for turn. To tap five for Sir Conrad the Grim. Black creature enters the battlefield. Y'all all lose a life. I gain a life. I'm gonna play the thirty-four. Orzov Basilica tapped, returning planes to my hand. And I will pass the turn. Alrighty. <clears throat> I will untap. Am I missing something with Sir Conrad? Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, let me let me go through Sir Conrad. Oh, um, Ayara's got whenever you play, whenever a black creature enters the battlefield under my control, each opponent loses a life, I gain a life. Got it. Okay, thanks. Sir Conrad says whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad deals one damage to each opponent. All right, I'll go to draw. And um, let's see. Mm. 
chap for... Uh, we'll do four. Yeah, I love Sir Conrad the Hammer. Cast Felidar Retreat. Felidar Retreat. Uh, when, whenever land enters the battlefield under my control, I can choose one, either create a 2 2 white cat beast token or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control. Uh, those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. Um. I'll play my land per turn now and make a cat. Two two cat. Meow. Cat cat beast. Um and then that'll trigger champion of lamp hold. Uh put a counter on her. Plus one plus one counter. Um, yes, I and then I'll tap for three. Yeah, I'll do it like that. I'll cast uh, a blade splicer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 colorless golem artifact creature token. Golem creatures I control have first strike. You got two mana open after that? Well, you got the two I elves, too. I have four, too. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> How um, many cards in your hand? One. However many I want, he says. Ooh, no. <laughs> um, let's see, that'll trigger a champion again. And then, so creatures with power um, two or less can't block creatures I control now. Let's see. Uh, you missed the trigger. You need to add one more counter because the golem entered the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, BuzzFuzz. Chat, you just heard the voice of BuzzFuzz, our in-house judge and local degenerate. And guardian angel. And guardian angel. Can you be a degenerate angel? Add, add BuzzFuzz on Messenger. <laughs> oh, sure. I saw Dogma. Hmm. What's that creature um, in the glare there, Kirk? Nice. Tesa. Sneaky, sneaky. Sorry. No worries. That's yeah, not a problem. Still trying to work out these glare issues. No problemo. You should try Dragon Shield sleeves. Dragon Shield sleeves! They're who sponsors us. So now it's power three or less. Can't block. Here's I control. Three. Kirk, I'll come at you with my six five. I don't. Do you have anything more than a three? Is it the power? Uh, no, I just have Felice. And she's a, a three four. A three four, yeah. Okay, so you can't block me. I'm gonna come at you with my um six five and my five three. So eleven. And then I'll pass the turn. I'll take it. Twenty seven. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'll tap a black one and this, and sack a spirit to lose a life and draw a card. Uh, that's a creature dying, so Sir Conrad deals a damage to each of y'all. Take one. Told you I wouldn't miss any triggers, BuzzFuzz. My finger's on the pulse. I'm ready to go, Mr. BuzzFuzz. 
That sounds like something a 50s dudes would say. Come on, Mr. Buzzfuzz, let's get down to the corner. To the corner. <laughs> Gotta go down to the corner. There's a meeting with Big Willie. Uh, then I'm one tap. No, I built a Tevish Zat, and you know, <laughs> arch, like uh, uh, aristocrat strategy. I was like, well, I'm going to have to focus tonight. <laughs> I'll play a swamp for turn. Hmm. One card in hand, Brody. That's right. Quite a board state. champions what makes it super lethal swamp two planes for a callous yeah, blood like mage that card. callous blood mage when he enters the battlefield I can choose to either create a 1-1 one, one black pest uh, draw a card and lose a life or exile target player's graveyard Daka Daka, this month the budget is one hundred dollars in week one, fifty dollars in week two, fifty plus dollars in week two and three and four. Um we are a proxy friendly league, if that matters to anybody. My entire deck is proxies. Um if you look. Well, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, can you see the little corner right there? Printed cut. Uh, how many cards does everybody have? Cards in hand? Yes. Five. Whoop. Okay. Just the one. Two. I did get to draw three. two cards for five three, mana sorry. off of Tevish. Okay. So, Brody, you got one? Yep. Okay. I will choose to make a pest. And then Oh nice, you're in the Discord. Yeah, perfect. Doc, you can get in there I and believe... check the rules out. And that's cool too. I will Hmm. I guess Josh is ahead of us all now. Um, I will let Brody draw a card and lose a life. And I will put Thank another you. inkling into play. Giving Brody a card? He's only got one. He's got less than all of you. He's got them all on the board. And then I will, I guess I don't even really need to swing, but Josh, you got no flyers, do you? No, I do have a flyer. I have a 1-1 one, one You do? Okay. Well, I got a double strike. Uh, so I'll swing at you. It's a 2-5 a flying double strike. I will take four. Shadrick swooping overhead, pecking us. Then I will. Giving giving hope to the Selesnia deck. Pay a black for a carrion feeder. A uh, carrion feeder can't block. I could sack a creature to put a 1 1 counter on him. Uh, 
and then I will pass the turn and get two spirits because I brought a pest and another inkling into play. As Josh is untapping, I uh, want to answer this question in chat. Daka Daka, you basically asking what the prize purse is, and that's totally fair. Um, right now, we have a prize purse of 100 bucks per month, so it resets every time. That's going to be across some like bundles and different kind of giveaway stuff. And then we've also got uh, Dragon Shield. We're currently in talks exactly how the sponsorship's going to work, but we did go ahead and confirm the sponsorship so that we could get that on the name there for uh, starting this month, basically. And um, they're going to add some product to the prize pool as well. So watch the Discord. That prize pool will only grow from 100 plus. Sorry about that, Josh. No problem. So I'm going to pay green and blue and tap to double slurk up. He's going to become a 2020. Hooey. Jesus Christ. That's a commander. He is a commander. He's about to be insta kill. Four, One more. Five, six. I'm going to play Archetype of Imagination. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> gives uh, creatures I control have flying, creatures your opponents control lose flying and can't have or gain flying. So. Everyone is holding their breath. Fire. Flying commander on the board. Um, what do you choose? Um, wow. <laughs> Brody's the threat. I'm sorry. I've got to hit you. 2020 in the air. Come into Brody. Commander damage. Oh, shit. Jesus. All right. That's uh, down to 12. Um, Wait, that's 20 commander damage? 20 yeah. commander damage in the air. Hmm. Dead next round. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that would kill you this round because, oh, oh, you gotta get 21, 21, don't you? Yeah. I don't hmm. think I've. That archetype of, uh, of flying, whatever that one's called. So chat, this is what happened just now. Had 10 on it. Voral doubled it again up to 20. And then Josh played Archetype of Imagination, which is a 3-2 for 6. But it says creatures you control have flying and creatures your opponents control lose flying and can't have or gain flying. So this means you are the Air Force. This is the only Air Force that exists anymore. So that 2020 ooze, which a flying ooze, that sounds messy. Went over and smacked Brody. Brody looking like 90s Nickelodeon over there right now. And it hurt. Josh, yeah, is, is that your I turn? <laughs> how many cards? Okay, yeah. That's all good. Okay, so how many okay. cards? No, I, I thought I wanted to mess with things, but uh, I, think I, I think I have to let things be. How many cards are in your hand, Kirk and Josh? I know Brody has two. Two as well. I have one. One, two, two. Okay. Drawing for turn. Uh, somebody pl please kill the uh, archetype of imagination. All right, I'm going to try a thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Joel's just going to ping me for 12. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I love that idea, though. I do need <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be six mana. And we're going to try and resolve uh, Phyrexian Rebirth. If this resolves, it says destroy all creatures, then create an XX colorless horror artifact creature token onto the battlefield where X is the number of creatures destroyed this way does it resolve anyone got any funky responses i know you got triggers over there kirk mm. i know you got two cards broads broads do you respond uh broads thinks first two seconds reach um, chat rory and chat just asked would reach still work yes it would reach is the only way to stop josh's force right now Yeah. 
It resolves. What was the Pyrexian one? Phyrexian Rebirth. Kirk, you got any response? Hang on, before you start doing that, Brody, we got some triggers to count. All right, all right. Kirk, you got any response? Josh? No response for me. Okay, so I don't know exactly how to Kirk, describe you're this ruling. If you're saying that you have a response. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the, the thing I was, I was trying to say was it's really unnecessary because I'm not really worried about the force, but I'm going to do a bunch of things because I don't want you to get a thousand thousand horror artifact creature. Got you. And also just He's FYI, everything that dies, Sir Conrad is going to ping y'all for one. Just full disclosure. So you are gonna ping me for twelve, dude. <laughs> in the end, you got a response. I'll keep the ooze off your battlefield for a while, Kirk. Well, I mean, I can't counter it. I'm playing black white, but I can make his creature smaller. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll have a black and a white. And. That would kill me and. I'll sack an inkling to gain a life and draw a card. I thought, was, I thought I was supposed to lose a life and draw a card. When that. I'm not supposed to have one more life than I think. When that inkling dies, everybody takes a damage. One damage. And I'll uh, draw a card. This is all still with Frixian Rebirth on the stack. Yes? Yes. And it's just that. Uh, Eric, you're supposed um, to be at 25 because you lost a life because of Sir Conrad. Uh, yes, but I also incorrectly lost a life when I used Witch's Cauldron before instead of gaining one. Oh, it does say you gain and draw a card. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was lose. Um crap, and then I make another spirit because of the Tesa. That happened oh yep. Which doesn't really help me because that's gonna be more, more damage we take. Um, they're all gonna die anyway. Uh, I'll sack three spirits to Tesa to take, um, I don't know, Slurk out of the game. Ooh, come on. We'll turn them through the command zone. And we all lose three life, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, when Slurk dives, it triggers, uh, nothing else has counters. Never mind. Uh, the more creatures I make, the more life we're going to lose. So I should stop. Uh, you're dead, Kirk, if this resolves. Everybody count up how many creatures you have on the battlefield, please. Four. I have eight. Eight. And Josh, you have four. Eight and eight, uh, 16. So, be 22. So 22 damage from mine two die. Wow. Y'all all take 22. I'll survive by one. Um, I gain one from the pest dying. Oh, GG. Yes, be a quick game. Brody, sorry that one took you out, bro. No worries. Such is the game. Somebody here is supposed to be playing blue. That was a uh, well. Honestly, I was <laughs> I was afraid Brody already had some sort of like everything gets indestructible. And then you gave him an extra card, and I was like, damn it. 
Oh, that's what I was worried about from Brody too, but I realized that they, I couldn't worry about it anymore. All right. I had a guildless commons. <laughs> yeah. Kirk, put back in the command zone. Kirk, that makes it your turn. Yay! So I will untap. You got a big dork now, right? How big is he? Twenty-two, twenty-two. Big dumb twenty-two, twenty-two. Yeah, it's like spell, spell table and picking that up. Bob, I think, Bob, I think, uh, I think I draw. that will be a question that will have to be answered after the game. Because I think that was, uh, oh, I assumed that that's work. what was going to happen. In a casual setting, I think I would have corrected it. In a competitive setting, though, we'll talk about it after. I'll play planes. What's the question? Can you share? I will tap these. Yeah. I bring Felice back out. So he exiled your Slurk. If instead he had exiled with Tesa my Conrad, nobody would have taken any damage at all. Gotcha. Kirk, what'd you do? Felice and what is this one? Holy crap, that was pretty stupid, wasn't it? I think it just was, there was a lot going on and you just missed it, man. Like I said, on a normal day, I would have been it. like, don't you want to do this? Dad, I was just thinking, all I want to do is get more, uh, at least another creature off yeah. the board so I don't die. I know, <laughs> I know. I can't believe I actually accurately counted the number of creatures on the board. Um, uh, yeah, I played a Felice and I played a, a Nadir's Nightblade. Whenever Night a token I control leaves yeah. the battlefield, um, each opponent loses a life and I gain a life. Love that one. Little, um, little aristocrats for tokens only. And I will pass the turn. So, yeah, um, Kirk, on that turn, you should have a 1 1 white spirit creature token. I'm checking if it's a May. It's not a May. So from Tesa and all of your, however many other black creatures you had on the battlefield, you should technically get a 1-1 white spirit creature token when flying with Tesa. They were all black. Buzz, is that correct? Two, three. Not uh, sure. That is correct. Four, if I remember correctly, five. I had like eight creatures. So I, so, I have, so I have eight spirits? Three of them were white. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never no, mind. No, the eight the, was the after. Three of them I got rid of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also had a pest, so I think you should have gained some life. He did. I, I did. I gained one. That's why I'm at two. Oh, okay. I would have. I would have been a one. Cool. Happened nine. That's for. Nine. That's for eight spirits. Uh, and it's also your turn, so technically you could still attack with those spirits. Just saying. You passed to me a while ago, but I want to roll back. Uh, but I don't think it'll be any skin off the back if uh, if they're all tapped and Joel's down eight. <laughs> Taking eight. <laughs> all right. Josh, what you got over here? Academy Drake? Um, Academy Drake, he did not get kicked, so he's a 2 2 flyer, vanilla. Um, and uh, Artemis All Seeing, or Artemis All Seeing, he's a flying. I can pay blue two and tap, draw two, discard one. And when he deals damage to an opponent, you may reveal your hand. If cards with at least six different converted mana costs are revealed this way, that player loses the game. I have no cards in hand, so that's probably not happening anytime soon. So basically a four or five flyer and a two two flyer. Um, that's it, I'll pass. Man for turn. Shiny. Play Corpse Knight. It says whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. I'm going to tap seven to recast, recast Tevish Zat. I'll tick Tevish Zat up two to create two zero one black thrall creature tokens and deal one damage to each of you. Six. Create two zero one thralls. This number denotes oh no. how many thralls there are. 
Uh, actually, two came in, so you both lost one life. Or both lost two life. Oh, I'm dead. Good game. Down to five. Kill. Um, nah, I can't do anything. Any response? No response. Do you have any way to make a mana that's not that sphere? No. All right. Uh, attack step. I will swing my big Frixian horror for 22 at you, Josh. On the ground, right? On the ground. I'll block my 2-2 two -two flyer. You got it. I will pass the turn to you. All right. Untap. Draw. Just what I needed, a forest. All right. Oh lord, this is a lot of mana. Well, I am going to bring out. Well, let me figure out my what I'm taking. Two blue, and one, two, three, four. Elegeth, huh? Yeah. Five six flyer. You would scry a number of cards, draw that many cards instead. How many cards in your hand? Zero. And I'll pass. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna tap pay three and I'm going to play Banishing Light and exile your Elegith. Okay. Back to the can zone. Banishing Light's just an exile target non-land permanent chat. And then I'm going to play... I'm going to try and clear the board here. Four and five for Cavalier of Night and sacrifice one of my thralls to destroy your attempts. Blue two and tap, I'll draw three. In response. So when Cavalier of the Night enters the battlefield, I can sacrifice another creature. When I do, destroy target creature and opponent controls, and then when it dies, I can return a CMC three or less creature to my battlefield. Good game. Yep, swing for 22. I'll take it. G G y'all sir Conrad Frixian Rebirth really put the uh pedal to the metal on that game, huh? Yeah, dude. Smacked him down. Smacked him down. Chat. That's the first game of February down. Josh, Kirk, Brody, GG's y'all. GG. I think that was the flat. I think that was the quickest league game okay. I've had so Hopefully. far. Yeah, that was like one hour and two minutes. I mean, <laughs> Frixian Rebirth doing 66 damage. That'll get there. That'll get there. I think it would have been a different world. One little miss trigger or one little miss target there from Kirk. And this this game would still be going on for quite some time. GG's, y'all. I'm going to drop out. Catch y'all soon. I'm definitely going on mute now. GG's. <laughs> Good game, guys. Later. Oh, chat. That's it for the Tuesday stream. Akroma and Tevish Zat got there. Sir Conrad the Grim remained on the battlefield, looking warily at Tesa. Tesa did not notice Sir Conrad the Grim. Perhaps he was hiding in a shadow. Frixian Rebirth does work and deals 66 damage through Sir Conrad. And then Corpse Knight with a little Tevish Zat backup. And I happen to have two removal spells in my hand so I could clear the ground and get through with a 22-22 Frixian Horror. Casual Tuesday. If y'all want to play in the league, jump into the Discord. Yes, that is a wedding ring. That wedding ring denotes I belong to my beautiful wife, Jennifer. Y'all, what you got to do is jump into our discord that discord's gonna have every little bit of information you might want to know go check it out 
sub to the channel, like the video. You know all the things. We really appreciate all y'all's support. That's going to do it for the stream tonight. Big thank you to our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Dragon Shield rocks by their products. Bar none, best stuff there is. I've been using them since I started playing, and now they're sponsoring the channel. Pretty wild. New video out tomorrow. And then the whole set is out by the end of this week. So look out for a lot of coverage on the new set. Neon Dynasty. Jump into our Discord. It's right there in the chat. Other than that, love you all. Mean it. Good night. I'm going to go edit a video. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.